going to show you how to convert your embroidery into a vintage cushion. I have a silk embroidery piece that I completed from a kit I bought on Etsy. Check out the related videos on the kit by clicking on the link above. You may use any cushion cover that you have at home. I bought a 20 by 20 inch IKEA cushion cover which included the cushions. I will be stitching my embroidery piece on top. Uh, first off, you need to um, fold it along the seams and determine where the center is and keep it aside. Iron the embroidery piece that you want to stitch into a cushion. In this case, uh, the embroidery piece that I've completed is slightly larger than what I would like on the cushion. So I would need to adjust the size and I will show you how to do that. You can also just use the size that you have and stitch it directly onto the cushion. The piece I have has a backing cloth since it's a silk ribbon embroidery. Let's take stock of the materials you will require for this project. Since I'm creating a vintage cushion, I bought some cotton lace. You will need a ruler and a heat erasable pen called Frixion, which I'm using. These are very useful for any embroidery project because once you mark your fabric and iron over it, the marks are erased. Then you will need a good fabric scissor to be able to cut your embroidery piece if required and a heat and bond tape and I'm going to show you how to use it. These are very handy especially if you don't want to stitch. It has adhesive on both sides and the one I'm using is heat and bond light because I'm going to be stitching over it. There's also heat and bond ultra which you can use if you don't plan to stitch around or on to the area where the tape is. Since my embroidery piece is round, I've decided I'll use 20 centimeter diameter both on the sides and on the top. To measure the piece that will be cut, you flip your embroidery piece and mark out the center. You can do this by lining the seams on both sides and you simply pinch the center of the embroidery and that will mark out the center at the back. Now you take a ruler and measure out the distance from the center that you would require for your project, both at the top, bottom and the sides. And ensure you allow about two centimeters of seam allowance. Then you mark out your first line, and that would be the distance for your embroidery piece on the cushion and then the two centimeters in addition for the seams. Once you've done that, you can mark out and draw a line to the corners so that you may be able to cut out the piece. If you look closely, I've drawn out the lines and these will be my guide to cut out the embroidery piece. So I'm going to run a scissor along the outermost line. As you can see, there's an inner line, a middle line, and an outermost line. I'm going to make a seam around the edges to uh, to avoid the fraying that happens after you cut the silk and the muslin cloth. So I had uh, left some allowance for, for the seams and I created two lines, drew two lines. And I'm gonna fold along that line. I'm gonna pin it just so that it doesn't move and we get a nice straight line. Use 
some white floss or the same color green floss if you have some. Grab on and then go under. And you don't need to be very close. This distance is I mean, we want to get through the seams as quick as we can. So you can take, you know, wide margins. So here you don't really see the, the thread on the other side. So you take a very little pinch of fabric with your needle. Put a cloth under my embroidery piece and now we're going to add the heat and bond tape. Um, one side of it is rough and the other is a, is a paper side and you apply the rough side onto the fabric that needs to be bonded. Um, make sure you cut out the strip of tape smaller than the length of the embroidery piece so that um, we don't have residue glue or adhesive sticking on to your background material and then you apply a preheated dry iron so no steam onto the tape and hold it there for a few seconds lift the iron and you can see that it has bonded so I'm going to run the iron a few more times over the tape to ensure that that side is well bonded onto the back of my embroidery. Continue to do this on all the four sides of your embroidery piece. Here's the IKEA cushion. Remember we had folded it and marked out the center point. We will be stitching the embroidery piece on top on the right side. Face the zipper part downwards. Place the center of the cushion in front of you. Take your ruler and mark out 10 centimeters on either side or whatever the size of your embroidery piece will be with the erasable pen or heat erasable pen to be correct. And remember, it doesn't matter if you mark it with this blue pen because once you run the iron over it, the marks will be gone. Now you place your embroidery piece. In my case, the wisteria is facing downwards, so I'm gonna place it facing downwards towards the opening of the cushion and I will align the embroidery piece between the marks I had already made. I'm also marking out the corners of the embroidery piece so I know where to place it when I apply it with the heat and bond. The purpose of the heat and bond tape is really to place the embroidery onto the cushion and have it stick in place so that while I'm stitching, the piece does not move around. So it's really a temporary measure. Next, we remove the paper backing on the tape carefully and you'll see that little sort of adhesive line is attached to the embroidered piece. Take it out from all sides. Once that done, turn your embroidery piece over, place it between the guidelines and put a cloth over it. I'm using a muslin cloth, but I think you should use a cloth that's slightly thicker 
and place the iron on top of the seams about 10 seconds on all the sides. Now lift the cloth and check whether the piece has adhered to the cushion. It seems not, so I'm going to run the iron once again over all the seams. So um, while the bonding took hold quite well here and in the center, somehow in these two corners it didn't, so I've pinned it. Take your lace and place it around the embroidery piece to determine the length that is required and to approximate the look that you want. Now place the lace on one side and pin it. So I'm starting on the left and I'm sort of aligning it before I start stitching. And you'll notice that we're placing the lace right along the seam, so the little dots that were created because of stitching the seam will not be visible any longer. So again, pin the lace to the cushion and to the embroidery fabric. And then you can start stitching. Gather up the cushion and the embroidery piece together and you can start running a simple running stitch to attach the lace to the embroidery piece and the cushion. To stitch the lace around the corners of the embroidery piece, you simply fold it at a diagonal and take a bobby pin and attach that diagonal fold onto the cushion before you start stitching it. This will hold it in place. To end off, you simply fold the lace inwards in a diagonal shape and then once it's aligned well with the lace underneath, you trim it off and trim off any pieces from the lace underneath as well so they don't show. Once that's done, take your needle, gather up your cushion and stitch the last part. Once completed, iron the cushion cover and stuff your cushion in it. And there you have it, a beautiful embroidered vintage cushion that you can place around the house. Thank you for watching with me and don't forget to subscribe and click on the other videos available in my channel. Look forward to seeing you again. Bye bye.